What's up, everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio, Part 5, Training Camp Preview, Talking Offensive Line. Uh, a group that I think if everybody's healthy and, and playing up to potential uh, could absolutely be a strength for this team. Uh, one of the better units in all of football, top 5, top 10 ability. Um, but you could also look at every single position and say there are question marks. Uh, starting at left tackle with Dwayne Brown, who's going to be 38 years old in August, uh, coming off the shoulder injury last year. How does he hold up in training camp? How much does he have left? Um, you look at left guard, Lakin Tomlinson, you know, signed a massive contract last year. It was a massive disappointment in his first year with the Jets. Do you get a bounce back year in year two? Um, at center, do you go with the experience with McGovern, or do you go with the rookie second-round pick in Titman? You know, he's expected to be a, a mauler in the run game. How quickly does he learn the playbook, and how much value and emphasis do they place on the experience early in the year? Something to watch there. Um, at, at right guard, you got AVT coming back off the, uh, the tricep surgery. I expect him to be ready to go early on in top shape. Um, at right tackle, though, the big question, and I think this is probably the biggest question on the entire offensive line, is with Mekhi Becton. Um, how does he hold up? How does he look? Does he embrace playing right tackle, or is he a distraction? Um, you know, it, it does seem like his mindset was very different this offseason. It seems like uh, you know he embraced nutrition and just taking care of his body and, and putting himself in a better position than he did last year to actually get through training camp. Um, obviously, he is in a contract year, so that's a, a lot of motivation for him. So you could definitely question whether or not he's got a future with the Jets. Um, but at least for this year, you're never going to get a more motivated Mekhi Becton. Uh, so hopefully he is healthy and he's back to you know the, the rookie Mekhi Becton that we saw, which was just a, a dominant run mauler who you know, was also pretty effective uh, you know, in pass protection. Did struggle a little bit with some of those uh, smaller, speedier rushers, you know, which we saw in his uh, second training camp against Carl Lawson. Uh, so something to watch there. Um, otherwise, you know, you have uh, either uh, McGovern or Tipman, so that's going to be you know one of your backups. Uh, you got Billy Turner, you know, who brings uh, some experience, can pretty much play anywhere on the offensive line. Um, you got Max Mitchell, you know, a uh, late round pick last year was very solid. Uh, I think uh, overachieved as a rookie, showed he can handle play and tackle. Uh, you know, so he brings you some versatility there. Um, also, you got Wes Schwitzer, a guy who's probably going to make the roster. Um, you know, he brings some experience along the interior. And then you got Carter Warren, a fourth round pick. He's definitely going to make it. So that's probably your 10 right there. Uh, you know, practice squad, you got guys like Tristan Colon, Adam Pankey, uh, Greg Sanat, Yadni Kajust. All these guys have experience in, uh, in different spots. Uh, you know, so expect at least, you know, two or three of those guys to probably stick around as insurance for, you know, Brown and Becton and guys like that. Um, but like I said, I think if you do have your starting five um, healthy, that could be a, a dominant unit. Hopefully, they also embrace a, a nasty kind of mindset early in the year. We've seen too many times with you know with other quarterbacks where they get hit after you know after the whistle, and you know sometimes there's flags. Some, most of the time, there's not. Um, but usually, you have three or four offensive linemen that are just kind of standing around, not really doing anything, and then maybe one guy that you know gives a, a little shove. But this year, if you know if there's anything on Rodgers, you know it, it should be mayhem back there. Even if you have to negate a, a roughing call or something like that. You set a tone early in the year that there's going to be no screwing around with our quarterback. Uh, so hopefully they have that mindset. But more important than anything else, I mean, hopefully they are healthy because if they are, this unit could be pretty damn good.